Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to make a police style flasher using some red and some blue LEDs. So before we get started with that, let's go over just a little bit on LEDs. If I can find my pen. Okay, LEDs are light emitting diodes. And a diode, this is the symbol for a diode, is basically a one-way valve. Current can pass from the anode to the cathode, but it will be blocked in the reverse direction. Now the symbol for an LED is just like a regular diode, except it has two arrows pointing up and away that signifies it's a light emitting diode. Now your basic LED, and we're going to use a five millimeter LED, looks something like this and it is generally going to have a long leg and a short leg. The long leg will be the anode and the short leg will be the cathode, but you don't have to remember those names. You can just remember positive and negative. And the other thing is we need to current limit our LEDs. So we need to use a resistor. And this is the symbol for a resistor. I'm not much of an artist. Now there's a whole formula in calculating what value of resistor you need for your LEDs and I'm not going to go into that today. Um, I have a video on it if you're interested. But basically we're going to use 150 and 180 ohm LEDs. So now that we've got over the instructional part of the video, let's get to the fun part. How do we hook it up? So let's bring this in here and zoom way in. All right, so in this case, let me make sure we're focused real nice here. That's not bad. I have the anodes of the LEDs to the left and the cathodes to the right. Remember long leg anode, short leg cathode. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but See how there's a flat spot there? That'll also show you the cathode or the negative end. So now I have the 150 um, ohm resistors going from the cathode, the negative leg, to ground, which is the blue line up here on the red LEDs, and the other one, the 180s, going from the cathode, the negative leg, also to ground up here. We lose our focus there. Okay. So now to hook everything up and you can place these in whatever positions you want. I just kind of stuck it like this. Like I said, you can do it however you like. So we're going to take a wire from digital pin four. And that goes to the anode or the positive side of the first red LED. And then a wire from digital pin 5. And that goes to the anode of the second red LED. Now we're going to come over here to our blue LEDs. And from digital pin 12 to the first anode and from digital pin 13 to the second blue anode. So now when we write these pins high on our Arduino, it will send five volts to these LEDs. The five volts will pass from the anode and out the cathode and it will be current limited 
by these resistors. If you didn't current limit them, they could blow up. Our final connection is ground because everything always has to be grounded. We have to have a complete circuit, a complete circle. So from the ground pin to any one of the pins up here in this ground rail. Now, if you're not used to using the breadboard, all these pins here with A, B, C, D, E are connected together vertically like this, all these. So anything you plug in here is also connected to here, 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 and here. But on these power rails, they're connected horizontally. So anything you plug in here is connected here, 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 all the way across. So now we have a complete path for our current to flow. And all we need to do is write a little bit of code. So let's do that. And then we'll come back and we'll see our police flashers in action. All right, here's our code for the police style flasher. First, we're going to do some defines. We're going to say red one is equal to four. Red two is equal to five. Blue one is equal to 12. And blue two is equal to 13. So now when we refer to these LEDs, we can just refer to them by name and we don't have to worry about pin numbers. Next, a couple of variables. They are integer variables, which means they are whole numbers. First one is on time and it equals 100. And that is our wait time for the LEDs to stay on and they will stay on for 100 milliseconds or a tenth of a second. Another integer variable called off time and that's 500 milliseconds or a half a second. Now down here in our setup, we need to set each of our pins for output. And since we define those pins up here in the define section, we can just call them by name and say pin mode red one output. And the same for all of these. All right, now we're gonna start our flasher and it's gonna flash the red LED twice first. So we write our two LEDs high, that turns them on. We wait for our on time, and then we digital write them low. That turns them off, we wait for our on time again. And then we repeat. And that gives us our two flashes. Then we delay for our off time, which is a half second. And we do the blue LEDs. We turn them on. We wait for on time, we turn them off, we wait for on time, we turn them on, we wait for on time, and we turn them off, and we wait for on time. And then we do our off time delay as we switch between them. That's it. Pretty simple sketch. Hey, all right, you've seen the code and how everything works. So let's put it all together here. We'll zoom in and we'll put some power to it and have a look. There you go, your very own police flasher. Do with it as you will. Please don't try and impersonate a police officer. I hear that's a crime. Anyway, if you like this Arduino for Kids, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, and share. Uh, please share this video or any video of mine that you like somewhere on a blog or another website or somewhere. Help me grow the channel. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate all of you for viewing and subscribing. Peace out.